Hey there, so I think I'm going to show off a quick tip on how to do finger bones because I think a lot of people have problems doing uh, finger bones for uh, characters. So uh, here's how I do it. So you just kind of come in here, go into edit mode, then you can hold the alt key and select uh, an area like this. You see I selected a ring around the pinky. If you press shift S, you get this uh, cursor uh, pie menu. Cursor to selected is this bottom one here. So, and then we can just go into, uh, we tab back over to the skeleton, uh, come over here to the hand bone, extrude it out, and then we can go shift S again, and then cursor to selected. So the muscle memory that you get again in is uh, just uh, shift S down, and then shift S up. So if we go to the next one here, <clears throat> we can do that again, and cursor to selected. Do it like this. Extrude out, and then cursor to selected. Um, so, cursor to uh, selected, and then cursor uh, selection to cursor, just like that. And you'll notice it looks a little looks a little funny when I'm doing here. Actually, let me just kind of go on like this. So, we, I just want to select kind of all this. Yeah, we're just gonna move it right there. So, you might not see a lot of people uh, do what I'm doing, but Oops. It's a uh, very very cool because you can never have too many bones. And you can never have too many bones when you're uh doing rigging because uh if you have like an empty space here and then you have him kind of bend his fingers, it'll look uh kind of weird. So, it's going to go in like this real quick. Oops. And then a really cool tip here, uh, the way that bones tend to work for fingers, is that you subdivide once, and then you grab the tips here, and then you subdivide again. And then that's like the perfect length for them. And then you can just do that here with this. And really cool thing, if uh, the fingers, in this case, uh, these ones are straight, but if they were weird at some weird angle or whatever, like the thumb here, then we can just go in there again, select it, and then, whoops, Select that, whoops, move it to position, and there we go. There we go.